Okay, um, I'm going to go over problem number two on worksheet four. We talked about it in class briefly, how the voltage doesn't change. But as I looked at this problem more carefully, it's not asking about what happens to the potential difference between the plates. It asking, it's asking about the amount of charge on the plates, what happens to that as the two plates are separated. Um, since this is a 6-volt battery, and we've got a distance, let's just call it D, between these two guys right here, um, if you actually separate these two plates further, so let's say um, this positive plate is pulled further over this way, you know, so now you've got, let's just call it a distance D prime further away. Since they're opposite charges, you have to do work to separate those two. So you are pushing them further apart. And so what ends up happening is because you've got a relationship between potential and the E field that looks like this, you've kept this the same because it's connected to a a set source of potential difference, a battery, so that's not going to change no matter how far apart the plates are, but you've increased the denominator, which is our D. This is now D prime, so this is bigger. Um, so your E field is actually going to be smaller. So the forces exerted on these charges on opposite sides is less. So what happens is the work that you do in separating them, actually some of the charge is pushed back into the battery because there's less attractive force between those two plates. So you end up having um, less charge, less charge on the plates because of the decreased E field and the less, the smaller attraction between the two plates because of the greater distance apart. Okay, so Q goes down. Potential difference is the same. So I just wanted to make sure uh, we were clear on that one. Okay, second thing here is on um, problem number seven. We didn't get to finish this in class on, fr on uh, Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So on this one, um, we've got uh, electric potential an infinite distance away is zero volts, which is our, our custom. What's the electric potential 0.4 meters away from a point charge of uh, po uh, positive eight microcoulombs? You remember that symbol now is microcoulombs. So this is um, 8.0 microcoulombs, and you want to know what is the uh, you want to know what is the delta V at this point that's out here, a certain distance away from a point charge. Since it's a point charge, you can use the equation uh, kQ over R. At an infinite distance, it's zero. So as you get closer and closer, potential is going to increase because you're going away in the opposite direction of the E field, and potential increases in the opposite direction of an E field. So this distance away, if R is at infinity is zero, then R at, R at a distance of 0.4 meters would just be this, 8 times 10 to the negative 6 over 0.4, and you would get your answer here. And this is 1.8 times 10 to the fifth joules per coulomb or volts. Okay, so 180,000 volts uh, when you're 40 centimeters away from an 8 microcoulomb charge. Okay, now they say if, uh, oops, if a, shoot, got to get rid of that little line I just drew there. Um, if a 2.2 nanocoulomb plastic sphere is moved from an is infinite distance away to a point, 0.4 meters away, what is the char change in energy of the system? So you're looking for delta U Q, that's just equal to Q times delta V, because, um, you know, we know this relationship exists, U Q over Q equals V, so I'm just rearranging that. The definition of potential difference is potential energy divided by uh, charge, by the test charge. So if I want to find the change in potential energy due to a change in location of this 2.2 nanocoulomb charge, I just have to figure out uh, what the change in potential is times the magnitude of that charge. Well, I'm going from infinitely far away. I started at infinitely far away. 
and I ended at 1.8 times 10 to the positive 5 coulombs. So I started at 0, and uh, I multiply that times the 8 times 10 to the, oh, 2.2, sorry. Wrong charge. 2.2 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. And we will get an answer here. That is 3.96 times 10 to the negative 4th. That's a negative sign. Um, and that is in units of joules because it's change in potential energy. We want to know the change in energy. And notice how they say even if you only moved it from 10 meters away, you'd have about the same amount of change in potential energy because for such small charges, um, when you're talking about short distances like 10 meters, it's almost the same as being infinitely far away. All right, let's go down to the last one. Okay, so now we've got this uh, one gram charged plastic sphere. It's released from rest. How fast will it be traveling after it moves 0.5, oops, 0.5 meters in a straight line away from the point charge? Okay. Um, so you've got the one gram plastic sphere is already 0.4 meters away. Okay, so it's starting out right here. This is the uh, small charged plastic sphere from above um, in part B, and it's released, and it's going to move 0.5 meters away. So it's going to move uh, out here. So it's kind of like out here, uh, that distance right there. And so uh, we have to figure out what is the um, velocity at that point, okay? So energy methods are the best way to approach this guy right here because you know the change in electric potential energy is going to be equal to the uh, change in kinetic energy. So uh, whatever we started with in uh, electric potential energy initially, at this point right here, it's going to all be kinetic energy at that point right there. Okay, so uh, to find UQ, um, let me see if we've calculated that up above. Okay, so if, uh, if we have the potential at the point right here, we know is 180,000. Or 1.8. So, sorry about that. Let me that back up. This is 1.8 times 10 to the fifth volts, and we know over here we've got to calculate what the potential. This is velocity. So it's going to be confusing. Let me make sure you guys. We're trying to find velocity here, but the potential at this point, I'll use a capital V here for potential, um, is equal to KQ over the new distance away. So that is uh, 9 times 10 to the ninth times the charge, uh, I think it was 2.2 nanocoulombs divided by the distance, which away from that charge is the total distance 0.9 meters. So that's going to be 100,000 volts. So 1.0 times 10 to the fifth volts. So to get the delta UQ over here, it's going to be the charge times the change in potential. Okay. Oops. This is a mistake right here. That should be the size of the original charge, which was which was 8 microcoulombs. Okay, because you're trying to find the potential caused by this original charge right here at a distance of 0.9 meters away. So that's 8 times 10 to the negative 6 microcoulombs. So K times the size of the charge divided by 0.9 is 100,000. So this charge right here, Q, is going to be, uh, this is a 2.2 two nanocoulomb charge times the change in potential which is it's going down by uh, let's see final is a hundred thousand minus 180 is where it starts 
and that is the change in electric potential. And I really should have written this like uh, instead of equals, I should have put that plus that equals zero because the change in electric potential energy is going to be offset by the change in the kinetic energy. So because you have conservation of energy, those two changes will add up to zero. So since this comes out to be a negative number, all right, this is going to be, this will be negative 22,000 joules. That's going to be uh, the increase for the kinetic energy. So delta K must be positive 22,000 joules. That's the one-half mv squared. We know this is 0 0.001 kilograms. So solving for V, you get the velocity, and that is... So the final velocity is 0.66 meters per second on that one. And again, all we did is we found the new potential at 0.9 meters away due to this charge right here. And uh, we found that to be 100,000 volts as expected. It goes down from 180,000 volts closer to 100,000 volts. We have to use this equation KQ over R because it's a point charge. So it's not a uniform field. You can't use E equals V over delta X. And uh, once you find that change in potential, you s figure out what the change in potential energy is by multiplying it by the size of the charge. And the change in kinetic energy is going to be the opposite uh, sign, but the same amount of energy, 22,000 joules. Solving for velocity, you get the 0.66. Okay, if you have any questions, ask me in class.